I'm Truman Obermeyer. Lived up here for about 22 years. I think they say uh, on average we're somewhere around 260 inches of snow a year. It gets to a point where uh, all you think you're doing is uh, moving snow. Welcome to Houghton County, Michigan, home of Ram Trucks cold weather testing. The goal, make sure the trucks that leave here are as durable as the people who live here. They say to get here, drive to the end of the earth and then drive three more miles. Blinding snow, debilitating cold and remote locations. There is no better place to test and torture trucks and the people who build them. Uh, all right. We've got best in class towing. I mean, our competition is nowhere near us. And we made upgrades to the engine, upgrades to the transmission, upgrades to the chassis. It just makes one, one tough truck. Let's see just how tough. This is the slush test. 10 inches of slush water mixture. So this would be simulating a customer uh, in, a, in a wet, snowy environment either going down the road or uh, encountering a rain-snow mixture. Uh, I'm so cold, it's hard to even talk here. Ah. What we're trying to do is just splash as much water and mixture up into every crevice on the underside as we can. So when they come out, you'll see they'll be dripping, just completely dripping. Once we test our vehicles through the slush trough, we bring them into this cold chamber and they are soaked at a minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit where all the water snow mixture that was accumulated on the underside is frozen. Once we pull them out, a good result would be that uh, we lose no function at all in anything that moves on the vehicle. The slush trough's working, it's getting full of ice, but it's, the components are doing fine. The fuel filter, it's all encased in ice. Hey, your rotating components. Any heat shields on the exhaust. She looks good. But slush is only the beginning. After eight hours in solitary confinement, it's time for a workout. But this is no easy turn around the track. Really what the test consists of is following a lead vehicle that is towing some type of a drag mechanism to churn up snow up off the ground that each successive vehicle in the chain ingests. One of the main concerns during this test is how much snow ingestion we take into the air induction system for the engine. With our industry exclusive Ram Active Air System, the system actively switches between one mode or another depending on vehicle demands and the outside weather conditions. So we don't need to make the compromises to optimize an air induction system for either hot weather performance or cold weather performance. Thirty-five laps, zero problems. But success here is tempered by what's on the horizon. The ultimate, and some would say, most meaningful measure of cold weather trucking. The snow doesn't stop falling, so the truck has to be dependable, and the truck has to be able to plow snow whenever well, whenever the snow comes down. I've been working with Chrysler for, for over 16 years now. I grew up driving heavy duty trucks as a kid. Our customers do this, so we bring our trucks up here, we'll work them for hours, put them through their paces, 
we can make sure our customers have a good, reliable truck. trucks are tough. They've got the most torque. You get the power to the ground with a durable, rugged truck. You can do this all day long. Testing is over. As the engineers drive south out of Houghton County, they leave with the knowledge that they achieved their goal. The Ram trucks leaving here are every bit as capable and durable as the people who live here. Cool, yeah, it's tough. But the trucks are tough.